What's up, my beautiful divine feminine, my handsome divine masculine? Welcome to the karmic circus where we expose all of those karmic ass times. Now, collective, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy, so only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it, just relax and let this shit go. Alright? If I say he, it could be a she, man or woman. Okay? It's not gender specific. These readings are timeless, so you can click on any of my readings, and it may resonate with you at the time you click. Or this could have happened to some of you in the past. This could be currently happening to you, or it could be something going on in the future. But this what we're looking for right now. The message for you is what are the karmic energies that's coming towards you, surrounding you. I see a baby daddy energy, uh, a masculine energy that's overwhelmingly... Um, controlling okay if you was pregnant by this person this person wanted to see what color your piss was this person wanted to control what food you put in your body while you're pregnant with his child and this person is is controlling over that way because this is a dark spirit i hate to say it now if you're you're getting afraid and you're gonna leave don't leave you may need to listen because somebody out there got a baby daddy that that was sent to you to sabotage you Okay, this is a fallen angel. See how he's looking over that baby? Now, if you're not pregnant, this can mean you may have a business with this person. Okay, um, it could be something that you created that they're trying to take over, or it could be something that you two, a business, something that you created together. Um, this could also represent a new beginning a new creation for somebody out there okay and for others of you you have a, a a dark baby daddy okay so let's get a little more this is your karmic energy a baby daddy that's a karmic baby daddy okay so show me the energy surrounding this karmic baby daddy holy spirit and i'm asking you for divine protection as i channel this message for me and my collective and i thank you for the protection in advance and any negative energy, evil eye, curses, hexes being sent to me, I'm asking you to return it to send it a thousand times fold. Thank you in advance. Amen. Okay. Show me the karmic energy um, surrounding this fallen angel that came in the form of the collective divine feminine's baby daddy. Okay. Show me the energy surrounding this baby daddy. Now, this could be somebody, if you're not having a baby with them, you may want a child with this person or this church person may want to get you pregnant or something. They could be looking forward to trying to get you pregnant. Okay. So show me the spirit. Show me the energy. Holy spirit. This is someone, um, he treats you like a child. Okay. These are toys out here. This is someone who, who could act immature. <clears throat> this is somebody who they could have been on your social media so you block them and now if you block them on social media they're under a false profile mind games and manipulation yeah this is someone who was trying to control you and treat you like a child yep here's the baby mama right here okay you're not talking to this person right now, divine feminine or feminine energy. You're not talking to them. And this, and you're a mystery to this person. They're trying to figure you out. They're trying to figure out why they can't control you. Oh, because you are intuitive. You have you have um, degrees in spirituality. You know you know the ropes, all the books about the books. You see these books. You know about the crown chakra. You know about your throat chakra. That blue book that you got in your hand. You you see them glasses? You don't need them glasses to see. That blue represents your, your third eye. So them glasses is right on top of that blue book, which represents you don't need these glasses. You use your, your third eye. Okay? But this person don't don't know that. They're this is they're trying to figure this out. Mmm. Yeah, so this is somebody's baby daddy that wants to control you. 
And he's also a sexual energy vampire. So this person was sent into your life to sexually drain you, to, you know, have you sitting around waiting for them to go lollygag off and do what they want to do and come back into your life. Or they were sent into your life to, to um, make you be thinking so much about them with sex to where whatever your purpose here that the most high God wants you to do that you won't do it because you'll be too focused on them. All right. This is somebody who was playing mind games with you. Manipulation. They're a narcissist. When you said anything to them, they didn't want you to speak out. You're supposed to be going through a transformation. This, some of you is dealing with your baby daddy and you may be in two different industries, right? He could be uh, somebody that's um, he's just a control freak. He, he possibly don't even have a job, okay? He possibly don't. Now, if this is resonating with you, hit the thumbs up. And I'm going to let y'all know my grandbabies are here with me. So you may see them come in. And my little two-year-old, she's been running me all day. That's why I still got the same clothes on from yesterday because she had me up all night making me watch Cocomel in it. She got me up this morning. As soon as she got up at 6 this morning, when she heard my son getting up for work, she was ready to eat. And y'all, I'm I'm not, I ain't been doing this for a long time. My baby is 19 years old. So now I got a little two-year-old around me. and um, That's my baby. She a hot mess. She running me. You're going to be hearing her. So I just want to let you know. But so, back to your reading. This person... They're a narcissist. They want you to um, dress. They want to pick your clothes and tell you how to dress. This is a person that's possibly so jealous of you that they wanted you two to dress alike. Mm -hmm. You may not be talking to this person right now. And when you're with this person, if you see this card right here, right? You see that ball of that yellow ball of fire he got in his hand? That's your happiness and your sacral chakra and your solar plexus chakra. This person is draining you through sexual energy. He's draining your energy. I bet after you have sex with him, you just sleepy. You don't want to get up. You don't want to take care of the baby. That's because you're allowing this person. They, they're, they're, they were sent by the devil. Okay. Don't mean to sound harsh or I just, auntie got to tell you the truth. This is a, a, a energy vampire and they use their, they drain your energy through sex. And this is somebody's baby daddy that wants to control you. But I see that you have a lot of, um, you have master's degrees, you have diplomas and shit. When it comes to spirituality. So you should be able to see. What this person is doing. And and it's like. Maybe some of you. You know you have these talents. And, and you're, you're gifted. Or you, you're, you're very knowledgeable. And have a lot of wisdom. When it comes to spirituality. And this person is trying to figure you out. And if they're trying to figure you out. It's because they were sent to try to see. How much knowledge you have. So they can try to shut it down. Okay. You hear me? This is somebody you blocked also. And you made, well, you blocked them and then they made some sort of fake page or using their friend's page and you blocked them too. Okay. They're under some sort of false persona. They could have a, a, a fake image. This is your baby daddy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me more about this baby daddy. This child's father. This person was was is a fallen angel. See, in this type of fallen angel that this this baby daddy that has gotten into your child's father, 
He was he was sent to you to tempt you into sin. Okay. He was sent to keep you from doing whatever your purpose is, what God the Most High wants you to do. By sexing you real good, stealing your energy so you don't want to get up. You know what your purpose is. You know what it is. Brown baby. Okay, so tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this is your baby daddy that is a sexual energy vampire. And I, I I bet when before when you got with this person and you was intimate with them, I bet you was the one that was was um you know you were a a very you would you was a get up and go type of person till you have sex with them. You were a person that you know your energy was very high. But when you get with this person, you just lay around. Some of you, after you have sex with them, it be so good to you. You can't do nothing but lay there with the pillow and the covers tucked between your legs. And they done hopped up, cleaned themselves up, took a shower or whatever, and gone. And you still there laying all in love and lust and all of that. You were targeted. And your person... They may not even realize that they have this demon. They got this demon from somewhere. But this demon was sent. Okay? This demon was sent to slow you down. So what you're going to have to do is get you some spiritual protection. Get yourself a evil eye. Get yourself a black obsidian and get it in a necklace or something or a bracelet that you can wear to keep on you 24 hours a day to, to block you from these attacks, to protect you from these attacks. Like I said, your person may not realize that he has a demon. People walking around all day and, and, and thinking they demon free. Everybody has some sort of demon. I don't care. They hide the shit. If these motherfuckers is walking around here, if you're overeating, that's a demon. If you're lusting, that's a demon. If you're lying, that's a demon. So there's nobody out here perfect. Okay? But demons will be transported, can be transported. So you got to block yourself from them. Spiritual blockage. So you got to be careful with who you lay down with, too. Okay, somebody is out here, your baby daddy is a demon, has a demon. He has many, but the overall, the main demon, this person is narcissistic. They're controlling. They were sent to, to take away your, your uh, knowledge, your wisdom, to make you forget about it. Okay. Tell me more about this person, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. And today I promise my baby girls in there a lot. I don't have no daughters. I have all sons. And my sons had daughters. So I got granddaughters with no daughters. And so I done went shopping and... and Got a bunch of little silicone molds to make candy and all of that type of shit and just have them in there doing something. Okay, um, whoever this person is, they could be a trust fund baby. Or you could be this trust fund baby. You could, some of you may hookah. You may smoke weed. But this is, this is, this is something that calms you down. This person wanted you to be blinded in a situation. They could have given you a uh, a piece of gold jewelry, a necklace or something. 
This necklace has some sort of attachment to it. A demonic spiritual attachment. To where something, whatever this child's father is doing to you, that you will be unable to see it. Now, this is not for everybody out there. If your masculine energy gave you a necklace or something, I suggest that you take this necklace off. You can say just, but I don't know how much power it has on it. And, and if it's gold, you can take all the spiritual baths that you want. But if you still have that amulet on or whatever that thing that this person put their intention to keep you blinded, you'll still be blinded. So you must take that necklace off, even if it's gold. And they say, oh, you don't got to take it off because it's gold or it's silver. You don't have to take it off. It's platinum or whatever. Take that motherfucker off and take a spiritual bath. And you burn a white candle. And you, you burn some sage and some palo santo. And listen to some affirmations. And you ask God to give you the clarity and understanding. And have you, if, if, if this person has given you a gift, a necklace or something, what has changed in your life since they gave you that gift? Is this someone who you wasn't interested in? Someone who you, you know, you wasn't in love with? They could have given you a gift to make you fall in love with them. They could have given you something that you wanted, but you couldn't afford to get for yourself. And you mentioned it to them. Next thing you know, here this person comes with this. It can even be a fucking car. It can be something that you wanted that they, you know, some of you may not have accepted this gift. Some of you didn't accept the gift. Some of you accepted this gift from this person and you don't realize that they have some sort of attachment to keep you attached to them. And I see now that, you know, some of you are awakened to this. Some of you didn't take this necklace. Some of you took it and now you are awakening to it and you're taking this piece of jewelry off or this whatever gift that this person gave you. You wasn't a, you wasn't protecting your crown chakra. See, oh, so, OK, so whatever, whatever the gift that this person gave to you. They didn't want you to use your crown chakra. See this crown on top of her head? They didn't want you to use your crown chakra because when you're using your crown chakra, when you can see with it in your third eye, that's your intuition. That's you listening to the Most High God telling you, listening to your ancestors and your angels and your spirit guides. But if you're if they've given you something to block that, then you're not going to hear. You're not going to pay attention. Okay. <coughs> So, Spirit is saying for you to learn more about meditation. Relax yourself. Don't let this person overwhelm you. Some of you may just need to get away from this person. Some of you need to learn to take spiritual baths. Um, I have spiritual healing packages. You email me. We'll go from there. Okay. Now, I have the prices and everything, but if you want a spiritual healing package, it comes with the crystals, candles, um, spiritual bath mix, all in one big spiritual protection package. So if you want to order that for me, you inbox me, okay? Um, and all you do is burn, you know, the white candle if you, if you want to... Um, like clear some negative energies and you feel like you're under attack. If you feel like somebody even put a hex on you or a curse on you, just inbox me at pinkscorpionintuitive at gmail.com. All right. But I do see some of you, you're, you, you've gotten over this or you may still be with your baby daddy, but you ain't letting him bother you. I see you somewhere smoking a blunt, smoking hookah, um, vaping. Some of you didn't, like I said, some of you didn't take this gift that this person gave you because you're awakened. Some of you are not awakened to it and you, you took the gift and some of you 
you know, um, you're unaware. And you, I mean, you're, you know what I mean. Some of you took it and some of you didn't. Some of you know and some of you don't. Okay. And some of you are hidden trust fund. You have a hidden trust fund for somebody out there. Somebody has some koi fish. Somebody lives close to a pond. This could be a place where you go and meditate. If this is a place where you go and meditate, put it in the comments. Okay, for somebody out there, I'm in a different deck. I see the energy of somebody plotting to make you uh, make people believe you either worship the devil, into witchcraft. Somebody is plotting that. Okay. And this is a this is an energetic strike that somebody is gonna try to throw towards you, but they're throwing gutter balls because you're protected. Okay. And this this could be somebody out there. This is somebody who you who was a uh a person who come into your life just to have sex and leave. This is somebody you didn't shut the shit down. Okay. You're not fighting with this person no more. You just shut it down. Okay. This could be your baby daddy. You could have a child with this person. Some of you, you know, you may have a child with a person who really didn't want the child, but they want the sex with you. I forget what that movie was when a man come over there and 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 fuck the mama. And he don't even go to say hi to the child. And the child is like eight or nine now. He never did nothing. All he wanted to do is have sex with this woman. And she kept allowing him. So don't be like that. If this is your child father and he's coming, maybe that's what that necklace is about. For him not to have a real relationship with you. Not to have a real relationship with his child. But to be able to come in and have sex with you anytime you want. Anytime he won't. Cut that shit off. He's a demon. Okay. Tell me more. Yep. Yep. Won't you be in a fiery, in a fiery entrapment? Yeah. Get yourself out of that. And like I said, you're you're a person who, you know, um, you do things quickly. Quickly. You make a lot of progress when you do think when you do things. You're creative. And here's somebody getting out of jail, out of a prison. This person don't, it's like, if, if they were battling you in spiritual war, they losing. Because you, they, their, their agenda was to have you trapped and entangled with the bullshit. With them being, being narcissistic. Keeping you sleepy and tired after you having sex. This is what they were sent into your life to do. Okay. But you beat this war. And they don't want a war no more because you didn't got out of this. Mm -hmm. And I see somebody out there living a luxurious life. Mm -hmm. And this person wanted you to be taken, you know, either they wanted to be taking care of you. This is somebody who would want you to quit your job. Your money, you make more money than them, and they want you to quit because they don't want, want people to know that you got more than them or make more than them. So they try to narcissistically change you. Mm -hmm. Some of you have awakened to this. You're not fighting with this person no more. So they're, now they're trying to figure out a way they can manipulate you. They're... they're, they're they're plotting. He's still plotting. This motherfucker is plotting and his feet is upside down. He's plotting. Yeah, just what I said. The king of king of um pinnacles in reverse. This is a stingy motherfucker, a selfish motherfucker. Okay. But the two of cups is out here. Mind games and manipulation. Candle magic. What, baby? Hi. My God, baby. Huh? What? 
Close the door. Granny smoking. Can't come in. You came in at the wrong time. Come back Daddy. later, okay? Daddy. What? Daddy. She's been running me all day. Huh? Uh -huh. You want to get your hair combed? Mm -hmm. You do? Yeah, yeah, my okay. Come back later. Okay, close the door. Mm-hmm. What fall down? Your pants ain't fall down. Go put that in the trash. Okay, y'all. That's my, my grandbaby. Okay. She spent the night with me and she's playing at the door. But anyway, okay, this is somebody's baby father, five of cups energy. They're having some sort of regrets. But when I, I'm not a tarot reader, but when I look at this card, it, it also tells me this person is, is trying to offer you the dick. Okay. They're, they're burning candles for them to, to be in a, to make you believe that they're in a, a two of cups relationship with you, but it's not. They want to be stingy and selfish. Come here. Come here. She's smiling because she know. Come here. You want to see yourself, huh? Look. Lele. She looking at the witch. Say hi, everybody. Hi, hi everybody. How you doing? Hi, here. You see the witch? You scared of the witch? Come on. No. Okay, can Ganny finish her reading? Okay. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> See you later. See you later, baby. It's not hot. She made me. I was drinking my coffee this morning and she wanted coffee. It's warm. She's saying it's hot. It's not. That's yours. Take it. It's probably cold now because you left it. Yeah. Close the door, baby. Go put it in the kitchen then if you don't want it. She says it's not hot now. Y'all gonna hear the background of that game playing in the background because she left the game the door open. Okay, so yeah, this person, somebody is doing some sort of candle magic towards you. This could be your child's father. Um, and if you don't have a child with this person, this could be like I said, somebody who you who you created some sort of business with you this could be a business partner who's um secretly wanting to have sex with you or wanting to be with you intimately but this person is is plotting to get you to make you believe they're going to be in a uh equal give and take relation what Lele. Lele. This person, they're plotting to, um, I'm going to get you. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Because you're going to keep interrupting me. Come here. It's your big mouth. Come on. Now, you got to be quiet. Hi. Bye-bye. You can't make me read. leave my reading. It ain't time to go. You were supposed to say bye-bye to go. Hey, Mommy. That's not Mommy. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. So this person. Shh, I'm going to put you out and I'm going to lock my door. And I came for win for losing because when I lock my door, she just going to keep standing at the door, knocking and knocking and knocking and knocking. Ganny, open the door. Ganny, open the door. That ain't funny. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to end up ending this read. Because this goofy child right here. Look how big her mouth is. She got a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this person, they're plotting to make you believe they want a, um, a two of cups relationship with you and be stingy. So basically, they want you to be doing all the giving. 
Lay lay. I'm not doing that. She just goofy. <laughs> I'm going to tell your mama. It may be a little spirit in here tickling her or something. I'm not doing nothing. And my door just opened a little and then all of a sudden she just started laughing. You know, baby, see, they, they can see things that we can't. Spirit tickling her. Oh, and her uncle just passed away like two weeks ago. And this little girl right here, when she first came over here yesterday, she came to my door and told me she want the candy. I said, what candy? She said, your candy. And I had just bought me some gummy bears. What? Hmm. Kiki. Kiki, teeth, teeth. Oh, and she just brushed her teeth. You gotta go. You taking over my show. Go, get out. Get out. You got to go. I know your teeth. Here, get it. She done took over my show. Yeah. Lele done took over the last five to seven minutes. Bye, baby. I taught her that. Y'all, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse my grandbaby. Excuse her. She love her granny, though. I spoil her little ass. She got her own little section in my living room where I'm finna decorate it and, and say it's for her. So, yeah, but somebody, you're, whoever the person you're dealing with, they're a control freak. And they may plan on proposing to you. Taking a, the relationship a little step further. And definitely if they've, they've given you a, a, a necklace, some earrings, some sort of jewelry, even a wedding ring, an engagement ring. I would, I would uh, get some protection. Now, if this is resonating with you and you feel that this person do it, did something like this to you. Then go on ahead and subscribe to my channel. Okay. Somebody is doing some candle magic. This person's the spirit that they carry, the demon that they carry, knows that you have a purpose. Now, but your person. Don't know this. Okay. But the demon that they carry knows. So your person is trying to figure out. How it is that you know this. How are this? How you know that. For some of you. This could, this skull can represent somebody doing some sort of necromancy. Graveyard dirt spells. Doing shit with skulls. Trying to bring death and endings. You know this could represent death or ending. Some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio energy. Okay. Also see. A little bit of fire out here. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I see um, Cancer and Pisces out here. Yeah, those are the main signs. I see fire, water, fire and water. Okay. For some of you, this person has already did this and they're having major regrets. Because this could be somebody that's trying to come back to you. With the rings out here. And determination. Oh. This person may be determined to, to, to get you to marry them. And you know how they say a person to marry you when everything is good until they get that ring on you and shit? Then paper sign and then they change? You better protect yourself. Now this is not for everybody out here. But it's for somebody. See solitude here. 
So some of you, you may need to, um, isolate yourself from this person, get you a, uh, an amethyst in a clear crystal quartz and go somewhere like to the beach, go to the park, somewhere where you call your sacred spot, or you can just go park somewhere, walk somewhere and carry those crystals. Pay attention to the birds, pay attention to animals, pay attention to things that's going on around you. The energy, how fast cars are going. Is everything moving slow? Is there a lot of chaos and conflict? Do you hear people arguing at stoplights and spotlights, stoplights, um, fighting? Do you hear a lot of dogs barking? That's energy. Okay, so... We need to pay attention to that type of energy, the energies that's going on around you, okay? And you look at that from the spiritual realm, okay? So spirit, um, so this person is determined to marry the collective or to propose to you. Maybe the wedding ring that they gave you could have some sort of uh, attachment. Now, for some of you, this is a little test, you know, that maybe you should try on your person to see if they know about spell work. Cook some spaghetti and offer it to your person. If your person eat it and they don't say anything about no witchcraft or voodoo or anything behind eating that spaghetti, that's, they clear. But if you cook some spaghetti for somebody, and they don't want it. They allow on these spaghetti. And then they start talking about the reason why they don't. And it has something to do with witchcraft. That's the person you need to watch out for. Okay. Because just like they know about the spaghetti to, to keep themselves from getting um, victimized in some sort of spell. They can victimize you. Okay. That's just something to think about for somebody out there. Okay. See, yeah, this the rings out here, determination, eager, immediate action. This is somebody's child's father that's eager to get you to walk down the aisle with them. They want you to be blinded to something, but you're not. You know something. You're you're spiritually in, in, intuitive. They don't know that. Okay? They don't know it. They trying to figure you out. Tell me more about this person, this baby daddy, child's father. Mm. Some sort of secrets is going to come out. And you're not going to, you're not, you don't want to marry this person. The vows of love is in reverse. You're not taking no vows with this person. Mm -mm. And they're eager. Maybe they're too eager and too determined to do this. And this is giving you red flags. Yes. It's red flags. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You know. This person had you. You know. They, they, it ain't going to be no ten of cups. Whoever this person is. They're, they will. Uh, you make your own money, you do your own thing, you can have your own business. And this is a motherfucker that's around you that try to tell you how to spend your money. But you shouldn't. They have you afraid to spend your shit. If you work hard for it, you should be able to spend it whenever the fuck you want. Okay? But you got somebody around here. And they may, may be threatening you. If you spend the money the way the way you want to. We're not going to be happy. We're never going to be happy because you you spend your money this way and I save and all of this type of shit. This person is not vowing to love you. Yeah, a lot of chaos. You got to always defend yourself when it comes to this person. They always have you in defense mode. Like you're fighting a bunch of, a, a bunch of other people. You see, whatever you are, whatever you do, you're talented, you have skills, you're an expert, 
and you stay dedicated. Yeah, like, and, and you have a con accomplishment. A lot of accomplishments. A lot of degrees and shit. And this person, ooh, I know this energy. I know this energy. When somebody is so eager and determined to get to you, they're, they have a plot or a plan. And that's what the fuck is going on. Somebody is plotting and planning to marry you so they can control you. This person must be a weak ass. Okay. Or they, you know, like I told my ex that that was like this, you know, very controlling and shit. I said, and he has a bunch of siblings. I said, the way you be hogging my TV, keeping the remote and all of that shit, and then hit the remote for me when I when I started deleting all the shit. He was putting all these extra re extra recordings on my my uh my TV thing and all the DVR and all of that shit. So I blocked him and I took him off of my account. Next thing I know, my remote disappears. I can't find it. So I had to order another one. So this is narcissistic. If they don't, if they can't run your shit, if they can't tell you how to do some shit, your shit, they will, your shit will disappear. And I told him, I said, I know why you're doing this. I said, because when you grew up in the family, in the, in the house with all of your siblings, you being one of the younger ones, they bullied you. You didn't never get to watch what you watch, wanted to watch on TV. You had to watch what everybody else watched. You had to, if, if they had a choice, you had to go by what your older siblings did. So this is why you're so narcissistic when you're in a relationship. I start calling out them demons that I see. He these, these are childhood issues. This is like a motherfucker. They go to jail and been in jail all this time. And then when they get out, the world is still changing. So they get out, you know, acting like they still in inside of those prison walls. And this is what somebody is doing to you. And they're very determined and eager, but they don't love you. They have a, a, a demon. And I'm sorry if it, it hurts anybody or it triggers you. I'm sorry. I apologize. But this is what the cards are saying. And this is somebody who you blocked. And then when you when you blocked them, they went and made some sort of fake profile and you blocked them again. So now that they know that you're aware of their bullshit, they're trying to come back and they're going to come back fast. Okay? With some sort of piece of jewelry or something. But I, I wouldn't accept it. Now, if this is not your energy and your person is, is not narcissistic, they're not controlling, they're not trying to tell you how to dress, how to spend your money and all of that, this reading is not for you. If your relationship is good, this reading is not for you. All right. So I will see you guys in the next reading. And if I gave you any clarification in your situation, then go on and subscribe to my channel. And I'm asking everybody to hit that thumbs up because that helps my channel to get out into the algorithm. I need everyone to hit that thumbs up. It'd be a lot of views, but not enough thumbs up. So please help your girl out, especially if this, this reading resonated with you. Hit that thumbs up. Okay. Peace out.